Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Tutorials Point with me Richa. Today under the Teaching Skills for Educators module, we will talk about understanding the different learning styles. Well friends, before we get on to this module, I would like to make you understand that everyone has a different style of learning. And it is very essential as a teacher to understand what is the learning style of your student and accordingly tweak the way of teaching in order to make the understanding better. So let's see what is there on the agenda for us today. Well, identify the different learning styles and patterns of your students. Importance of identifying the different styles for a teacher or a trainer. Defining an auditory learner. Defining a visual learner. Defining a learner who learns by reading and writing. Defining a kinesthetic learner. Well, fear not if you do not understand these terminologies. We will talk about them in detail. So defining the different learning styles. Learning style is an individual's unique approach to learning based on the strengths, the weaknesses and the preferences of that particular individual. It is important for a teacher to assess the learning styles of the student so that the teaching methodology can be synchronized with the learning styles. If a teacher does not understand the learning pattern or style of the student, all that he or she is saying is really not going to be effective because the student will learn the way he or she has been brainwired to learn. Well, some of the basic facts about learning styles is that the following categories of learning styles were identified by Dr. Neil Flamingo in the late 80s and represent the WAC model of learning style. Now, do, what does WAC stand for? V stands for visual, A stands for auditory, R stands for reading and writing, and K stands for kinesthetic. So, Dr. Neil Flamengo actually came to research all of these four different patterns of learning style. Let's talk about the visual learner and friends while you are uh, you know when I'm teaching you this particular module I would like you to identify what could be your pattern of learning and next time you will definitely gain a lot when you know what is your pattern of learning style. So the visual learners are people who prefer to use pictures, diagrams, demonstrations, displays films etc. So basically the visual learners are people who learn more by visually seeing that thing in front of them be it with regards to pie charts or graphs or any kind of film anything which is visual makes them learn better. They use phrases such as show me let's have a look at that etc. These are examples which make a teacher understand that this student is a visual learner when they use certain words and phrases like that all right they the visual learners that is work from list and written directions and instructions so if you give them a map they are likely to find the directions better because they like to see things perform a new task after reading the instruction or watching someone else do it so if there are instructions written down they are likely to read the instructions and do it or else the second way is if they have seen someone else do a particular thing they are likely to see it and use it in a better manner for themselves so friends that was on the visual learners let us now understand what is an auditory learning pattern well Auditory learners are those learners who teach or rather who understand better by listening to that particular thing. So their, uh, you know, their ears are very strong and they really hang on to each and every word that you are saying. They just learn by auditory that is taking in the information through our sense of earring. They prefer to listen to the spoken word of self, of others, as well as to sounds and noises. So if you are likely to speak to them, they are likely to hold the telephone a little bit closer to their ear because they are auditory learners. They use words and phrases like 
tell me, let's talk it over, etc. So the auditory learner, as compared to the visual learners who only see and believe, the auditory learners are likely to hear and learn better. When a teacher understands that, she should be able to tweak her way of learning for an auditory learner. So an auditory learner performs a new task after listening to the instructions from an expert. So they listen to the expert and they are able to perform that task. Second is that they are happy being spoken instructions over the telephone. So if you give them instructions through a telephone, they are likely to learn better. So either listen to audio video tapes and stuff like that, which will help an auditory learner learn better through listening to sounds and noises. Let's talk about the third pattern of learning which is known as read and write. Now these are the kind of students who are likely to write down the notes when the teacher is speaking to them. So they are likely to typically who excel by using the traditional study methods of writing it down. They are the types of students who don't mind sitting down and reading through a textbook to gain valuable insight. So they are the kind of learners who teachers love because they are the traditional learners because they like to read and they like to write notes while the teacher is speaking. Well, they often perform well in lectures as they tend to take detailed notes of everything that the teacher is saying. So if given a chance, these kind of learners actually are able to give good presentations. The note taking plays to their strength as it helps to reinforce the learning and serves as an essential learning tool later on. So they are likely to write all the notes that the teacher is giving to them and they take it for their exams because that helps them to reinforce whatever the teacher had said during the class. The next kind of learners is the kinesthetic learners. So a kinesthetic learner is basically the kind of learner who would like to touch and feel the activity and that's how they learn better. They don't like to visualize, they don't like to hear, but they like to hands on activity to learn better. They prefer to physical experience, touching, feeling, holding, doing, practical hands on experience is what a kinesthetic learner is. They use words and phrases like, let me try, how do you feel, etc. So if a teacher is giving an activity or explaining a concept, a kinesthetic learner would actually tell the teacher that, let me try doing that because that's the kind of learner they are. They like to touch, feel and do things for themselves. Well, a kinesthetic learner performs a new task by going ahead and trying it out and learning as and when they go. They prefer to experiment, they prefer to do hands-on and they never look at instructions at all because they like to do it practically rather than hear it or see it. Well friends, that brings us to the conclusion of this particular module on learning styles. We have discussed the different ways of learning, for example, the visual learner, the auditory learner, the read and write learner as well as the kinesthetic learner. Well, I would just like to give one piece of advice over here. As a teacher, it is important that you need to understand one size does not fit all. You will have a class of students who have different patterns of learning and different styles of learning. Try to use a mix of audiovisual and some bit of experiential learning so that your students can gain the maximum amount of knowledge from your lecture and your, uh, you know, your uh, way of teaching. I do hope you have enjoyed listening and understanding this learning patterns and learning styles. Keep watching more videos coming your way. Do not forget to give us a lot of feedback and insights into what you thought about the video. That will help us improve. Take care and thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.